What is going on, all you beautiful people? Thanks for joining me for yet another video. Today we have a kick-ass knife that we're talking about. One of my favorite makers and one of my favorite designs. We are talking about the Chavez 229 Redención with the Lee Williams kickstop mechanism. Now the kickstop is pretty much this flipper tab here that when you deploy your knife, the flipper tab just hides. So what we get here is that really sleek Chavez 229 look without the addition of any external piece sticking out. Usually the flipper tab will be out on the side when you deploy the knife, but with the kick stop, the flipper tab hides on the back end there. And I'll show you guys a close up look. So you get that sleek look, that heavy, thick Chavez feel, and you pretty much lose nothing and gain absolutely everything. So let's kick it off with a couple of specs on the Chavez 229 Redención Kickstop. Before we dive into the specs, I want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Brian. He is the owner of Blade Capone. Blade Capone is a retailer where you can find a lot of great knives like Chavez, Hinder, Zero Tolerance, and so much more. You guys can follow him on Instagram to figure out when this 229 kickstop will drop. So make sure you follow him, turn on those notifications because when these drop, they are limited. So you won't be seeing these again. Chavez is usually like a one and done kind of dude with stuff like this. So definitely give him a follow, check out the website. And if you see anything that you like, use my code, Captain Ricky, will get you 10% off anything on the website. Shows me some love, supports Brian, who's an amazing human being. So glad I met him at Blade Show. And at the end of the day, you get a kick-ass knife for a little cheaper. So make sure you guys check him out. The link will be down below. So the specs on this 229 are, are exactly similar as a regular 229. You've got an 8.22 inch overall length. We got a 3.9 blade length a cutting edge of 3.49 inches. We are looking at an M390 blade. I have a Tonto blade style with me right now, a compound blade grind with a belt satin finish. Of course, this one is rocking the Lee Williams kickstop, which I spoke about earlier. That's what makes this design so cool. We've got the skull clip on the back with the two screws, which can be interchanged. So you can carry the skull clip or you can carry the more sleek clip that Chavez now offers, and we're looking at a weight of 6.45 ounces. So as I mentioned earlier, the 229 was the one Chavez knife that I gravitated towards automatically. It's extremely ergonomic, but it's also just a hefty, kind of overbuilt knife feeling. It feels like a tank. Now with the kickstop, what I really enjoy is that it almost becomes a little sleeker in a way. With the original Chavez 229, you have those two bigger thumb studs. And personally, I like that style. I think it looks cool. It gives the knife a more badass look. But if you want to kind of streamline the design a little bit more, the kickstop variant might be your best option. It just has an overall sleeker look, in my opinion, which I think will appeal to a lot of people who have maybe never owned the Chavez because of that kind of heavy overbuilt look and they want to just try something out that has some more innovation to it. It's a really cool partnership. I say it all the time. Watching two knife designers, knife makers collaborate, it's like watching your favorite superheroes in Marvel movies or DC movies. It's something that's usually really cool and super hyped up, and I'm glad that the Chavez Kickstop lives up to that. What I like about this design is that you get that jimping on the flipper tab, so it's honestly impossible for your finger to just kind of slip off. I also noticed with this kickstop model, the detent ball doesn't have as much of a hard time going through that ramp. I don't know if you guys have handled the 229 Redención, the normal one, but I noticed for me, there's some times where I'll disengage the lock bar and the blade almost gets stuck a little bit. Um, like I've said before, I'm not a, a maker or a knife nerd enough to know why that happens but I noticed that on the kickstop variant, it is definitely a lot more smoother to disengage that lock bar and have the knife just glide down gently. So who is this knife for? Personally, I think a lot of people will enjoy this knife because it has more of that streamlined look. It's just a little sexier, in my opinion. You gain a lot of neat things like that kickstop. That deployment is extremely smooth. 
you don't see a flipper tab anywhere so you gain a whole lot of smoothness with this knife my only thing with that being said is i wish that the flipper tab was just a little chunkier to kind of match the design but i can understand why it's so sleek like that because otherwise the flipper tab might be a little longer and that might mess with the mechanisms again i'm no design expert so i'm only speaking on just aesthetics what i think would look better but overall i mean i think it's just a great design and it works perfectly so if you have been wanting to get into a chavez knife if you want something more streamlined definitely check one of these out make sure you guys check out blade capone my buddy brian is going to have some of these in stock and lucky for you guys if you use my code captain ricky you'll get 10 percent off your order so you can pick one of these guys up for 10 percent less than most people don't let anyone know i told you that see so that is it guys a quick little overview on the chavez 229 kickstop if there's anything i missed let me know down in the comments so that way i know heading into the next review if you enjoyed this kind of video hit that like button and subscribe because there will definitely be a lot more to come thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one